Hi, today is all about salicylic acid and we are going to be dissolving it in different solutions. Salicylic acid is good for acne prone skin and oily skin. When you want to use it, you use it one to three times weekly. But if the percentage in the products is low, then you can use it more than three times a week. It does not make you sensitive to sunlight compared to lactic acid, glycolic acid compared to AHA. We are going to be using it at 2%. This is the salicylic acid. This particular salicylic acid is not smooth, which means it will take a longer time to dissolve compared to if it was smooth, like powdery. So if I want it to be smoother than this, I will first pound it, make it smoother before I start using it. Make sure you have your mask on before working with products like this because you can inhale it which is not good for you for the first one i need one gram then i'll take my beaker tie the scale i need five gram of propyly glycol the ratio of salicylic acid to propyl glycol is two to ten that is salicylic acid is two percent Propyl glycol is 10% for the gram. I'm using one gram of salicylic acid to five gram of propyl glycol. There are two ways you can do it. Is it if you are not in a hurry, you can pour as you pour this into it, mix and keep it aside in one place. It will dissolve after some hours. It will dissolve freely after some hours. But if you don't have time, you are in a hurry, you are about to use it in your formula, then you need to eat it before adding it to your formula. That way it will be faster. So I'm calling this A. It's very easy to dissolve salicylic acid, not that hard, as long as you get the ratio right and it depends on the quantity if the quantity is much then of course it will take longer time we're going to be using sulfatan to dissolve the same salicylic acid the sulfatan we are using today is cocoa madre propyl benthane <laughs> gosh pronouncing this word there eh? cocoa coca madre propyl benthane so I'm using the ratio is 20 to 2, that is coca hydropropyl benzene 20%, salicylic acid 2%. Well, for the gram, I'll be using 5 gram of the benzene and then 0 0.5 gram of a salicylic acid. So I'm going to be measuring it straight away into it. I only need 0 0.5. 0.26 yeah i have my 0 0.5 gram so this is it for kokama dropopil benzene okay so the difference in this is that it depends on the kind of formula you are creating and what does that mean? It means that, let's say you want to formulate lotion, and it's anything uh, water-based, I can go for the propylene glycol or propanedol or the glycerin. But if I'm formulating cleansing products that foams, then I can use my propyl to dissolve the salicylic acid. So you see why there is different. So which means you cannot use this coca hydropropyl to dissolve what is going into your lotion. So take note of that. Coca hydropropyl benzene is 
a surfactant that foams is a cleansing product okay let's see for the propylene glycol the propylene glycol is clearer it's clearer than the benzene okay so we'll keep it them aside there's another one we have to do which is the mixture of glycerin and sodium lactate ordinary glycerin we take a very long time to dissolve salicylic acid or might not really dissolve it like that but with sodium lactate they form a solution the ph of sodium lactate is higher that is why when you add it to your glycerin it helps to increase the solubility of salicylic acid if you, do, if you don't want to use sodium lactate, you can use any other pH adjusting agent that increases pH. You can add it to the glycerin after you've added your salicylic acid and it will, it will dissolve it very well. So the percentage we are using for, the, for this is glycerin at 6% sodium lactate at four percent salicylic acid at two percent so but the gram i'm going to be using three gram of glycerin when you are using it in your formula that's that percentage that you will use in in your formula i have acne prone skin so i can always say salicylic acid works well because that is what i use for my acne just use it to exfoliate my skin and it works very well so that's for glycerin then i need two percent of my sodium lactate this will increase the ph so i have my solvent mixed together now it's time to add the salicylic acid so turn my scale again put on my my mask so as a cosmetics uh, formulator before you use any ingredient always check the safety data sheet to know how the ingredient is because hmm, there are some ingredients that you are not supposed to inhale they are not good for you, especially when it comes to powder. You need to wear mask before you weigh them. But once you mix them with your solvent or water or your liquid, then you can remove your mask. Mix together. So this is the glycerin, sodium lactate and the salicylic acid solution so the thing is as i said you can leave all this for a while and at the same time you can heat them all right so this is propanador this for propanador is 20 to 2 percent like propanador 20 percent salicylic acid 2 percent 2.5 of propanador 0.25 of salicylic acid this is so we'll see how they will all turn out only the chunky ones that has not dissolved let's now put them on heat we are placing everything on heat and see which one we deserve first we are dissolving salicylic acid and it will crystallize just just increase the ph with your ph adjustment ingredient and you see that it will be okay again when you're not putting in your formula you can now adjust that ph the product the final product's ph to the ph you want and salicylic acid works at low ph acidic ph which is like from 3.5 to 4. the lower it is the more bioavailability it is 
so which means if you formulate it at 3.7 it's going to be more bio available than when you formulate it at 4.0 if it's at 4.0 it will be more bio available than when it is at 4.5 and so on the lower it is the mobile available it is but if it is too low let's say like two ph is too low and it irritates the skin that's why you should keep the ph for like 3.5 to 3.8 at most four why you have options like this is because you might be looking for like the best way out or which one is more cost effective that's why you have options like this you can also use castor oil if you are formulating anhydrous products use castor oil to dissolve it it will dissolve because castor oil or castor oil too is used as solvent if you are making anhydrous products which means um just oil only oil based formula then use castor oil if you are making lotion which has water in it serum tuna such as that then you use propylene glycol or propanedol to dissolve it propanedol is more natural than propylene glycol so you have that options then glycerin sodium lactate you can also use that but if you are now making like um body cleanser face cleanser shower gel then you use coca hydro pro please you 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 understand what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah so you use that so this propanedol is almost done dissolving so you can see see it's getting clearer but the chunking ones are the ones that are taking more time to dissolve because they are very big so they are taking so if you really want to be fast always pound your salicylic acid first that's if you did not get it in powder form it is in all this chunky form then pound it make it smooth remember wear your mask before you do that then go on to formulate to to dissolve it all right so after some minutes this is the propylene glycol clear the coca hydro propyl which was b this is clear too take note that because coca medopropyl contains water, some of the water may evaporate when you some of the water may evaporate when you are trying to dissolve it. Now the third one was glycerin and sodium lactate. This is also clear. And this is the last one, propanidol this also clear you can see that four of these solvents dissolved the salicylic acid but the thing is from my research properly glycol dissolved it faster than the glycerin slash sodium lactates so which means um if you still want it to dissolve faster that is the glycerin that sodium lactate it can increase the percentage of this like you can increase the sodium lactate to 10 percent um then the glycerin to six percent so uh, salicylic acid still leave it at two percent meanwhile the propanidol is okay at 20 percent so for glycerin uh, propylene glycol 10 percent for propanedol 20 percent and the propylene glycol still dissolved fast it still dissolved fast very fast so if you are going for if you want to be economic about it and you don't care any type of solvent you use then you go for propylene glycol but if you are saying natural or in your products and you you are reluctant about using propylene glycol then go for propanedol and also if you don't mind 
glycerin and sodium lactate also works but you have to heat them and i told you you can also decide not to heat them you can place them somewhere for some hours if you are, if you are not in a hurry to use them and then use them later on and that is it so please like share comment subscribe to our channel for more of this and then we also train how to formulate skincare hair care products if you want to know more about our academic join uh follow us on ig at josibel cosmetics academy so this is it bye till next time